everyone and welcome today I will show you how to create creative shape logo with Inkscape let's start first active the bezier tool by pressing B on your keyboard then draw some three shapes make it round corners and goes to here make this not round by clicking this and adjust it a little for the lower back let's draw some fluid shape delete this node and adjust it a little Right for the back, draw some liquid shape again. Let's color the front with this green. Click this and active this edit objects. Go to this flat color and you can input this color code to this so I'm just copying it and put it here so this green and for the lower back we are using the gradient click this and click this gradient tool and drag down let's change this node color with this color so I'm just pressing D to make it fast or you can input the color code and click this move it to the back and for the last shape using the gradient again click this and click this gradient drag all the way down and change the color by double click and press D on your keyboard just this yellow and for the bottom just double click Press D on your keyboard to active the dropple tool. Then click this color. Yes, move it to the lower back. Remove all the stroke by select all and remove stroke. And change the front opacity by 70. Now add some letter, I'm using V letter mark and change this font into Givo. You can load font in the link description thanks to the creator. Okay, let's scale it up. Place it here. Change the color to white. Now what we're going to do is make this V letter into liquefied shape. First let's make it into part, click this and part, object to part. Now to make it liquefied shape, go to part and click this simplify or the shortcut is Control L. So what it does is reduce the number of the nodes. You see when I hit the Control L a few times, it makes this shape into liquefied. Just find the shape that you want. I think this is good. Okay, just cut it up and place it here. And take these three notes. Move up. It's like the check mark. Alright, you can add the note by double click or you just delete it. Pretty nice. Now add some little splatter effect to here to make it more fun effect with the bezier tool. Press B on your keyboard and draw some shape. And let's change the color into this. 
remove the stroke Last steps time to clean it. I mean this white V letter becomes subtract with these three shapes. You see when adding some background, uh, maybe gray, and move it to the back. The the white V letter not good when applying some the background color application. So let's subtract this. Before we subtract it with this part, click this V letter mark and go to part. Just combine and duplicate it by pressing ctrl D three times as the number of the shape one two three and one by one by selecting these two go to part and click difference and this V letter mark with this lower back go to part and difference click this V letter mark and this go to part and click difference okay now it's clean if you change it to any background color it follow the color of the background so I'm just gonna delete it and finish I hope you enjoyed this tutorial try some improvement with the color or the shape and don't forget to subscribe make sure you are an update about this Inkscape tutorial thanks for watching I'm Zeki from Zeki Design create something good today